It's time! Or maybe not. Hey guys, Matthias here, the Caster guy. This is Random Reaction Wednesday, and today I'm going to talk about the top five. Hmm, five. Damn, those are large hands. Top five reasons why it's good to suck. Have you always been an expert on everything you do? I haven't. I mean, it's hard to believe, but come on, guys. Everybody has to start out somewhere with some something. So what I started out with was being bad. You probably started out with being bad as well. But whatever you do, when you're starting out with something new that you haven't done before, you have to start on the sucking level, actually. There's no, no head start for anything. And after that, you become a little bit better. And after that, you become better. After that, you become pretty good. And if you continue to press on, if you continue to push, you will eventually become an expert. But it takes time, it takes effort, and it takes, it takes a lot of guts, actually, to suck at something. To comfort myself, to assure myself, and maybe, or hopefully, inspire some other people, I put together this list. This list of uh, five reasons why it's good to suck. Here it is. Number five. You have to start somewhere. When you first start out, you're a little fish. You're a little fish in a little pond and nobody knows about you. It doesn't matter what, it, what you try to achieve. And then, little by little, you start ironing out the kinks, you start uh, throwing out your beliefs, and then some, some things start to happen. You start to learn. You start to listen. And another fun thing is, if you're a little fish in a little pond and you suck, you can try out anything you like. Uh, like video, for example. Anything you want. Nobody's going to see it. Um, you're a little fish in a little pond, but you will become better. Number four. You become humble. It is a humbling experience to realize that, wow, this that other people do so good, that they are so cool, and I really like what they're doing. When I do it, I suck. I, that's humbling. And when you're humble, you start to re realize that you don't know anything. You start to realize how much you need to learn. And you start to not realize what, what you need to learn in what order to become better. Number three, you create great friendships. As a small fish, you can always reach out to other people. You can ask them if they can help you. You can ask for advice. You can ask for technology. You can ask for equipment, anything. A small fish is totally harmless and everybody's going to want to help you. And if you're a big fish and a small fish asks you something, help them. Not helping them, that's bad karma. Bad karma on you. And when you reach out to other people, you grow. And when you grow, you make other people grow. And when you grow together, you create great things together. And that's basically why collaboration works so good. To try to find people to collaborate with. Collaboration, it's fun, it's, it's exciting, and it's give, it gives you inspiration. Number two, you make mistakes. Yep, you make mistakes. Big mistakes, small mistakes. But the thing is, you should only do a mistake once. If you do it twice, you've done something terribly wrong. You wasted your own time and you're pretty much stupid. Think about it. Why should you do the same mistake twice? Make a mistake. Learn from it. You will grow. Okay. I'll have to admit. Been there, done that. Sent the postcard, got the t-shirt. I've done it all, basically. But learn from it, please. You know, hone your technique, get better, try different things, but don't be afraid. I mean, come on, who's gonna see you? And number one, you will become better. Fast! That's the fun thing. You will become f better really fast. You know, the biggest and fastest improvements will come early. Basically, the suckier you are, the better you will be faster. Later on, you'll only improve in small increments. and. and it's going to be hard to, to improve, actually. So when you're a small fish, getting better, ready to dive into the larger pond, you will become better fast. You will grow fast. You will make giant leaps. You will develop habits fast. And you will become a bigger fish. And then at some point you realize, when, it, when did this happen? What happened here? I got small fish around me. I got, I got small fishes asking me for advice. I get small fishes asking me for collaboration. I get small fishes asking me for ideas on how to do stuff. Then you have become a large fish in a large pond. And that, my friend, is why it's so good to suck. Start somewhere. 
become humble, create friendships, make mistakes, become better. You will become better. So that is my top five list of why it's good to suck. Have fun, guys. Please subscribe to my feed. You can do that on uh, twitter.com slash mrhadley. You can follow me on uh, Facebook, facebook.com slash guy. You can uh, follow me on YouTube. It's easy to go to bit.ly slash guy. And you can also search for me on iTunes. Just search for guy, and you will find me. Please subscribe, leave comments if you like. Um, I'll answer them as soon as I can. And as always, remember, greatness lies ahead.